Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Well, today we're gonna to get started on part one of the Creepy Circus vignette. And I've got a couple things cut. I've got some accessories that I wanna kinda of show you how we're gonna kinda of plan this together. And then you're gonna see me uh, in this video just do some preliminary uh, work to get things set up. Uh, I think once this is set up, um, this one should go pretty quick. I don't anticipate any any big deal, I don't think. So uh, let's, uh, let's jump right in and let me show you a couple of things that we're gonna use to get this one to look uh, sort of the way that I envisioned it, at least in my head. So let's jump right in. Okay, so I got a couple of things we're gonna jump into right away and a couple of the uh, foam pieces have already been cut. I decided to cut uh, two pieces of foam. The overall base where all the circus uh, tents and buildings and accessories are going to sit is four foot long by two foot wide. And then the other uh, panel that's going to go underneath that as a pedestal is uh, six inches shorter than that in both length and width. So it's a six inch, so you have three inch gap on either side of that as, as sort of a uh, an overhang with a base sitting on top. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So the first piece, this is the four foot by two foot section. Now, uh, I cut this earlier with my hot wire foam tools to cut it to size, measured it. This is from a four foot by eight foot section of foam. It's a, a piece I had left over. It was almost perfect. And I cut it down to four foot uh, in length by two foot and then took my hot wire foam tool, the uh, freehand routing tool and, and shaped it uh, into a small little uh, rounded, uh, almost a pencil shape and just went straight down the sides of this over and over and over. It took probably the entire, you know, for each side, the front uh, and this side probably took, I don't know, 20 minutes, 15, 20 minutes to do. I did the back just in case uh, I wanted to use that side uh, as an option. Didn't paint it because I don't think I'm going to need to, but that's what it looks like. And then we had some leftover uh, uh, test paint for our house color on the outside, one of the, the trim colors. Uh, it looks like the appropriate brown, and so I took a brush and slathered that all over this. And then painted underneath... Uh, because this is the part that's going to overhang the other piece of foam. And I'll show you how that's going to be set up here in a moment. So this is, again, four foot by two foot. And so this is the base that everything is going to sit on. Okay. And then the pedestal that that's going to sit on is just a, another white piece of foam, unpainted. And I did take uh, the, the uh, silver backing and the, uh, the, uh, the other uh, backing off of this. So it's just straight white foam. Again, I get this foam. These are four by eight foot sheets, two inches thick. And I get these at Home Depot or Lowe's. Uh, and, uh, and then use these to cut these down to size. So this is six inches shorter on in the length. Um, and it is also, so that'd be three foot, six inches in uh, length. And then it's uh, uh, six inches is shorter in width. And so you're looking at, uh, what is that? 18 inches or so in length or in width uh, to kind of compensate. And that'll, that'll serve as the pedestal to put this base on. And so, I, and I'll explain why I wanted to do that here in a moment uh, with the, with, as we go through the design. So those are the foam. And again, I've cut those. I, I did the hot wire uh, knife and some paint, but that's really all that you've missed so far. Let me show you a couple other pieces that I got. We're doing a circus, right? So I wanted to make sure that I've got uh, the pedestal. Is, the reason it's not painted and it's white is because I want to put this uh, cloth um, it's ribbon that you get uh, at a craft store or wherever. It, uh, I found this online. It came, I got it at Amazon. It showed up today. Uh, it comes in a pack. You get, uh, you get uh, one blue and white and one red and white. And I think the red and white obviously is perfect for a circus. And so what's gonna happen is, or what I anticipate happening, and you guys will see me do this. I'm gonna take, this piece of foam and uh, this piece is going to be the pedestal and it's basically going to have this 
this color stretched and glued around it. So this will be the pedestal that that rocky or that, uh, that brown base will sit on. And so that will provide another uh, kind of an aspect that this is a definitely sort of a, a circus looking attraction. So that's why I wanted this. And again, I was able to find that for, uh, I think it was uh, nine, nine or $10 for both the, uh, the red and the blue. And I think you get, uh, I don't know, like 30 feet of it, uh, 10 yards or something like that. Uh, and it's about, uh, I think it's two inches in width. It, it's actually a little bit more than that. Maybe it's a little bit, maybe it's two and a quarter, two and a half, but it's a little bit bigger than what I need here. So I'm gonna have to do some cutting and gluing. Uh, and pinning to get that to stay. And so that's that's that, so I wanted to show you that. And then uh, one of the other things that I'm going to do is I wanted these globe lights. Now I found these at Michael's. The only bad thing is they're battery operated. I did find some globes that I didn't read real good and they weren't LED and they were, honestly, they were a little bit too big. I needed to get something smaller and plugged them in and they were they got hot immediately and obviously you don't want heat around this foam it'll melt it or start a fire or who knows so that did not work so i went and took those back and i found these the 30 count they're led uh the only bad thing about these they're actual and i didn't read it when i was in the store but it says glass um, glass bulbs and when i say glass bulbs they're glass I mean, who, <laughs> I would think they would be plastic, just like anything else in this world today, but they're not, they're glass, uh, which I, I don't like uh, because I already broke one, just trying to get it out of the package. So I'm gonna see how these work, but uh, let me explain what I'm gonna do with these and I'll show them to you. You can probably hear them, right? They're glass bulbs. They've got this battery pack with a timer, which is pretty cool. They light up. Um, and they, I wanted the glass bulbs or the bulb look for a particular reason. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some uh, different colored paint, some uh, kind of an off-white paint and a, a kind of a odd-looking red. Uh, it's not a bright red, but it's not a... You'll see the paint. It's a, like a nostalgic-looking red. And I'm going to alternate and paint, just kind of smear some paint red and white it looks like the paint has faded off on these bulbs uh, and that's another reason I wanted LED so they don't get hot and then those bulbs are going to be I'm going to use floral pins or some sort of a, a way to, to, to stick them underneath the lip of this that's why this is brown so they will kind of go around the sides and around the front and then they they will light up that ribbon underneath and sort of a, a older nostalgic looking you know, circus lights this is kind of the thought behind the, what I had in my mind when I was thinking about this. And so that's what I'm gonna do there. And you'll see me as I start to paint those. And uh, again, they're just gonna kind of be smeared, not real heavily coated. Um, and they are on a timer, which is good. If they're gonna be battery, at least they're on for six hours and they go off. So. You can kind of turn those on, let's say at, uh, you know, four o'clock, 4.30, they go off at 10.30. Uh, you don't have to worry about it. They come on the next day and at the same time. And then at some point, as you see them starting to dim, you change the batteries, you're good. At least you don't have to go and press something every day to turn them on. And so that's, that's the other accessory piece that I got. And then the last thing I want to show you, uh, you know, you guys know I like signs, right? So I've got this uh, same, type of sign as you saw on the um, uh, Spooky Halloween, uh, but this is a Ringling Brothers and Barnum and Bailey Circus sign. Uh, it is pretty cool. It's got dates, it's got you know locations, it's got uh, a pretty cool, very nostalgic feel to it. Uh, and I've got a couple of Pennywise. Uh, Pennywise is a dancing clown who was kind of born into the circus. <laughs> so how do you not have Pennywise at least lurking somewhere in the circus? You're gonna to have to find him. I'm gonna show you where he's gonna be, but he's gonna be there probably somewhere. And so I got a couple of different signs uh, for him. And so what I think I'm gonna do is sort of take the creepy clown circus and the Pennywise house on Neibolt Street and the sewer scene and sort of kind of put them probably back on this counter 
and have this whole counter area sort of themed after the, the clown theme, potentially. Um, and so I don't know exactly how I want to display these yet. I have an idea. Uh, and so I think the idea, so what you don't know, and what I haven't shared with you, I haven't, I haven't drawn anything out on this one. I've just kind of envisioned it. In the back of the circus, I envision a kind of an old plank fence, almost like a privacy fence that runs the entire length. So that's going to take some time to build. Uh, and, and so there's going to be some small little circus posters all over that, and, and you'll see circus signs all over the place. Uh, and it's going to look, at least in my mind, it's going to look pretty cool. So I'm thinking about carrying that theme over to here and using some of the, the pink styrofoam, the one inch variety, and making a larger fence uh, with a wood technique that I showed you in the um, spooky Halloween sign. That same wood technique, uh, only bigger and bigger you know, pieces of wood and build a fence to put these posters on behind the main attraction. So the fence would sort of be, you know, jagged and up and down and uh, old and, and really rickety with these posters kind of hanging on or taped on or something uh, to where it looks pretty cool onto that backdrop. And that would be the circus backdrop, like an old wooden fence with some circus posters on it. That's what I'm thinking. I, I may change my mind. I may not. I may go with that idea. But that's kind of what I'm thinking of as we get this thing started. So that's all I've got today. I'm, I'm waiting on a couple of more, a couple more of these, uh, specific to Pennywise, uh, the dancing clown, and uh, and so uh, those should be here. I think I get one tomorrow, and then one on Tuesday. And that should be it. That should be everything that I need to uh, hopefully complete complete this piece. And so with that, uh, we're going to get set up and we're going to start putting the ribbon on and then we're going to start painting some light bulbs and we'll go from there. Okay, so we're going to start putting the ribbon on now. So I'm going to get the, the camera set up so you can see better of what I'm doing. I've got some uh, white PVA glue in this little uh, a, a bowl and a sponge. I'm going to put that on. I'm going to augment with some floral pins. Uh, I've got some of those on top. I'm going to augment with some uh, 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 hot glue. Never done this before, and I want it to stick, so I'm not sure. And I have cut this to length uh, off camera. So it's cut to about what I think I need. So I'm going to get started. Uh, let me get the camera set up so you can kind of follow along, and uh, hopefully this will work out. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to take this glue first, and... Uh, Start putting this on. We're just gonna do one side at a time. Okay, so that'll be that. Let's do a little bit of hot glue. I may change my mind with this hot glue after I, when we get done with this, I'm not sure. And Let's kind of put this on to the bottom of this.
Okay, so you kind of see how that's going to do. I'm going to do the rest of this off of camera because this is going to be this is going to be a royal pain. So uh, I'm going to I'm going to get this started and get it finished, and then I'll come back and show you what it looks like. Okay, so uh, I went with the hot glue method versus the uh, PVA glue method. Uh, one side is PVA glue down; it's got a little bit of hot glue in it uh, and a pen, but it, I seemed to get better results the farther I went along with the um the hot glue so let me show you how this looks uh and so this is the side here with the uh pva glue on it and it'll it'll eventually dry there is a floral pin in the back there and then this is the side with the hot glue and then hot glue all the way to the back there is a floral pin on this side as well I uh, hot glued the top down, so if you can kind of see how that's uh, folded around the top, and so that's all hot glued down, uh, and that's not going anywhere. That's pretty well stuck down, and so this is how this uh, uh, pedestal is going to look. So very, very circus themed, I think. Uh, certainly a lot of red and white. So that's how that's going to look. So this. We'll then go back in this area here and uh, just kind of be hanging out like something like that. All this stuff will be gone, uh, but you can kind of see how that looks sitting back there. Then what I did was I took the uh, floral pins and I get these floral pins at uh, Michael's or Joann's and it's just a they're you know, normal uh, regular floral pins. They look like this if you're looking for them in the store. Uh, you get a whole little, uh, whole little uh, carton of them, 50, 50 pieces it says. And I use those to uh, put the lights on to the bottom of this. I did not paint the lights yet, nor do I know, I, I, I kind of want to, to see what it looks like, but I don't know that I'm absolutely gonna use these lights. But you can kind of see the floral pins and how they're in there every so often. Uh, there's a, a better look at that. And then obviously these go all the way around. You push the timer once and they come on. And so this then will sit on top of that base plate over there. So let me put that down. Then I'll kind of take you over there and let you see what that's going to look like, at least from uh the perspective of which we are at right now without painting these lights and so uh, let's take a look at that okay so here is the base on uh, the pedestal and that's sort of the look that i was going for it's not uh obviously it's not sitting up there exactly right and nothing is detailed so uh pretty pleased with it so far and the lights are so dim that's why I don't know that I'm going to actually paint any of them. Uh, I don't know that it would look any different. I may try it and see what it looks like and then maybe take the paint off with uh, some, uh, you know, acetone or something like that if I don't like it. But that's, that's kind of what we're looking at so far uh, around the base of this creepy circus. And so I think we're off to a pretty good start. Uh, I think it's going to look pretty good, and you can see, obviously, over on this side, uh, how it looks. So, looks not too bad. Okay, well, hopefully that helps to see and visualize the base and the pedestal with the lights. Far be the lights aren't, they, they, they may be done, they may not be done, I may uh, try the paint. Uh, and just so you know, the types of paint that I got in case I was going to use it, one is a um, just a matte white acrylic paint. It's sort of a chalky white. And then the red that I got is a, um, uh, a crimson type paint. Uh, and so you can kind of see, not a, it's not a normal red. This is about as red as you can get. This is a little bit more dark, uh, darker pigment than that. And so more of a crimson and a chalky white just smeared on there. And I may still do that just to see what it looks like. But 
For now, we're going to call the tutorial number one finished. Uh, next part, we're going to look at actually designing the layout of the base. We're going to look at how the houses are going to go up there and the order at which they're going to go up there and, and how to, the pathways are going to look. And we'll just kind of jump into that on the next tutorial. So until then, if you've liked this video, make sure you click the like button. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please go ahead and consider doing so. The channel is continuing to grow and I certainly appreciate every one of your um, sharing the videos and liking the videos and subscribing. So I appreciate it. Thank you so much. We'll talk to you again or real soon.